In the past year, the mountain pine beetle has affected 400,000 new acres of forest in Colorado alone, bringing the total affected area to over 2 million acres. Grand County has long been an iconic image of the West with its majestic lodgepole pines and rustic mountain lodgings. Walking down the sidewalks of Grand Lake, one can feel the echoes of the past reverberating around them. However, this idyllic peaceful facade can no longer hide the war that has been waging for years. Well, it started in 1997 uh, as an obvious epidemic and it's so it's been going on now for um, 11 years it's in its 12th year now the reason why we really have such a bad beetle problem is that you know our forests here are are they're over mature and they're really at the end of their life cycle initially many touted the beetle outbreak as a boost to the local economy due to a legislative bill passed in 1980 logging was highly restricted in grand county however with the beetle outbreak loggers have returned to clear trees Small tree spraying businesses have emerged, and a new market has developed for the beautiful blue-stained pine paneling. However, as the years have gone by and the market has become saturated, these new ventures, like the forests themselves, have dwindled. Once the beetle gets started, you're not going to stop it. Uh, you just are not going to stop it uh, because you're, you're dealing with too many entities, private landowners, government agencies. Some people will do things, some won't. You're not going to stop. The, the movement of the beetle, you're just not going to do it. Lodgepole pines have a natural defense mechanism against the pine beetle, but only the young and healthy trees have enough sap or pitch to expel them. Therefore, the first victims are the oldest and weakest trees. Due to the overmaturity of the forest and the recent drought years, Grand County is the perfect breeding ground, allowing the beetle's numbers to grow exponentially. The, the, the epidemic is extraordinary, and it's um, one you're just in awe of the beetle and its performance in these forest systems, how it could uh, develop to such densities and cause such mortality over such extensive areas. It, it, it leaves you sort of breathless at the capacity of this insect to behave in this particular manner. The sound of chainsaws and logging equipment can now be heard throughout the valley as spraying has proven to be largely ineffective. We had neighbors that spent thousands and thousands of dollars every year. They would spray trees. Um, and spray trees, the ones they wanted to keep, they'd spray the trees. And um, they neighbor next door finally came back and said, you guys were smart. We spent, we spent thousands of dollars spraying trees and the trees are gone now. With the absence of logging and no major wildfires, the lodgepole pine was left with no means of regeneration. This set the stage for the entrance of the pine beetle and with Grand County covering over 1 million acres of land, the cost to remove all of the dead trees would likely be over $3 billion. This cost has fallen onto the residents and the local economy. Overall, we spent over a million dollars fighting the pine beetle so far, and it, it actually takes away from the rest of our property. That's a million dollars we can't use to improve buildings and do other things for our guests, and that's just to protect them. And really just to cut down trees is where that, that whole money has been spent. Today, legislators face not only a slumping economy while seeking federal aid, but also special interest environmental groups that fear clearing the trees will hurt the forests. However, many argue that not only does clearing the trees make the forests and vistas more beautiful, it helps mitigate the extreme fire danger. We used to always get the questions, what are you going to do when the big wildfire hits? And now the public is, how are we going to get out of the way when the wildfire hits? A catastrophic fire would not only affect the residents of Grand County, but people far beyond. The Big Thompson Water Project pumps over 200,000 acre-feet of water from Grand County to the Front Range every year. A disturbance to the ecosystem and structures of this system could lead to a trickle-down effect the likes of which will be felt all the way to Mexico. Despite the time and energy that residents of Grand County have spent battling the pine beetle and the long road that still lies ahead, an acceptance seems to have settled over the land. This is just one of the many phases of Mother Nature taking its course, another cycle in the life of the wilderness, and a new look to the county that they have come to know and love. We know that the new forest that's coming on will be just as lovely. I, I could think back to the way it used to be and to the way it is now. Uh, and both, both are good memories. It's I can sit up, I can be up in my house and I can see all the way from Grand Lake to the Winter Park Ski Resort and the whole continental divide, so it's just a, a great view and that's, that's really, really good.